pick one, I would definitely pick. Hey guys, it's Sue here. Come back to my Chanel, guys. Today, I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting, but yes, I finally have brought my recommendation a big ass toner slash essence. Says I told you I was gonna do it, but I had the summer specials coming up. I'm so sorry, Lucia Dope. All right, so without further ado, let's get this video started. <laughs> All right, let's start off with the first one. It is the Ample and Purifying Shot Toner. And this, guys, this is extra special because this is 600 ml. All of the other ones I have here are like 500 ml. This is 600. P.S. I love Ample, Ample N. And please, Ample N, don't discontinue this. Like, seriously. It is an awesome, awesome product. And I'm so surprised. At like how little it seems I've used up because I've been going ham on this it must be because it's so big This I think is like the only product that's actually faithful to its name of being a toner Which you know by definition is an extension of your cleansing routine So after you cleanse if you feel like you have a bit of residue what you do is you take a toner And then you take off you remove all the residue. That's what toners are for and I think this is like the perfect Pro product for that. I'm sorry. My tongue's still sleeping right now. I'm, I had a really intense workout session last night. And so I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, come on, so come on. Oh, sorry, guys. Actually, I'm going to go in the order of like how viscous they are. So we're going to start off with really, really watery ones. So with this toner, I actually like to use a cotton pad. P.S. guys, this cotton pad is amazing. This is the best. Best cotton pad ever. If you were to buy anything from this video, you better get this. Seriously. This is from Hera. This is a cell essence facial kit cotton. And it's so it's so well made. Like you can tell. Like they did oh what is this little <laughs> dust? It doesn't feel cheap. And there's multi layers in it. So it really does soak up all the product. And once you wipe it on, the this cotton pad will just keep on oozing the product out. So it feels so refreshing. It's so hot so hydrating there's a fuzz so how i like to use this is i like to just really douse oops sorry the only bad well not a bad thing i made a mistake of not doing a good job of puncturing like the hole here so the product comes out a little weird as you guys can see right yeah and so what you do is just wipe everything from your face and it feels very refreshing it's a really really watery type as you guys can see there's no viscosity to it you know there's no glukiness to it and after you've wiped your face with this your your skin feels refreshed but also i want to say like it feels astringent in the sense that like you can feel like kind of that tightness not not in the drying way but as if like it's pulling at your skin nothing unpleasant and also i just feel like this is a great toner to reach out for in the summer it is scented i will say but it's a very refreshing scent and i feel like all of the components and properties of this toner just it was all made so that this toner using this toner will give you the most refreshing experience ever the scent is i can't even explain it it's like it's kind of sweet but there's like this kind of like like detergent kind of smell to it i don't know how to explain it it's just really nice and you guys know i'm very particular when it comes to scents i either hate it or love it and the scent is a bit more on the subtle side so i ain't complaining and for the ingredients of course it starts with purified water and the second ingredient is ethanol so if you are someone who's very sensitive to alcohol make sure to check that out and what's interesting is that this also had in english it was like ponsirous trifoliate okay so this is basically uh, a type of fruit that in east asia it was used to treat um gastrointestinal disorders inflammation and allergies and so it's supposedly very good for your skin as well and it also has blue lotus extract for calming effects so this is honestly 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 just a really really nice refreshing one that you can just like go all in because it's 600 mil and the pricing isn't too bad either so it originally cost 55,000 won but ample and like i always say has like they have like the biggest sale going on all year round and so you can get this at 17,901 17, which is like i want to say 15 bucks 
That's such a good deal, guys. All right, moving on to something with a bit more viscosity. We're gonna move up the scale, and we have the Round Lab Ducto Toner. This is such a cult. Well, it used to be. I don't know how it is now, but for some time, this was like everyone was in, everyone was freaking out about this. Were they? I feel like that's an exaggeration, but this was definitely really popular and I obviously recommended this to you guys over many videos because I think this is just a perfect toner. Actually, even though this is called a toner, I feel like this is one of the products that's closer to an essence. So I've mentioned that in Korea at least, the term toner and essence is used interchangeably a lot. So this I wouldn't really use as like a real toner. This is definitely like an essence where I would use it to hydrate, moisturize my skin. And I do like to recommend this because I feel like this is one of the toners where I can recommend it to all skin type, any skin type, sensitive, oily, dry, combo, dehydrated, what, what, yeah. And it's because it's kind of like a vanilla -y, vanilla ish, vanilla re product. Um, I feel like some people might view this as a boring product, but I think that's one of the reasons why I'm not scared to recommend it to every one of you guys. It's very plain. Yes, and the ingredient list is very very simple as well. It only has like 10, I want to say, 10 to 15. Um, it starts with purified water, as has and glycol, glycerin. It also has water, sea water, uh, which is supposedly packed with all of the like 77 minerals and nutrients and whatnot. Um, it also has betaine, panthenol, and it also has allantoin. As for its formulation, it's really, uh, it's really light as well, but of course it's got a bit more viscosity than the purifying shot that I just showed you guys. I feel like this is, I want to say it has a like 20% viscosity. Wow, my face was so attractive. You can definitely feel that it's a bit more hydrating, but it's still very, very light. So I feel like this is also a very refreshing one that you can just slap on throughout all year, um, summer, and it's less it doesn't carry any scent as far as I'm concerned. I didn't notice any scent. So I highly recommend this. And this is also pretty on the affordable side. All of these are, oh, this is 30,000 won. So it's a little bit pricier. But I think this is an awesome, awesome essence toner. Essence that you can check out. All right, next we have a product from Oh Hi Oh Who. I love this brand. They actually make really, really interesting products in my opinion. Anyways, this is their Apple Tuck Tuck Toner. <laughs> And this is 400 mil, which, you know, I was a little iffy about. I was like, you know, if you're not 500, why even bother? But I had, I really want to include this in because I think this is a great toner. Actually, though, I do also redeem this as an essence. But anyways, I, I also think this is a great, great product to use during the summer times. You know, it's apple, it bubbles up. It smells really fruity. It is very heavily scented. That's one of the, like, the downsides. Like, it smells very apple-y, but it's kind of strong. So if you're not a fan of apple, fruity, kind of artificial scents, stay away. I'm okay with it. I think I've gotten used to it, and I just love the formulation. So I just want to point out that this, the formulation, is a tad bit, you can definitely feel a bit of that gloopiness, a tad bit more. This one is, you know, it feels heavier, it feels more viscous than water, but you, you definitely can't feel that gloopiness like you, it's weird i know but you can't feel any of that like snottiness if you know what i mean this one you can definitely feel it even though i feel like these two kind of feel similar this is also another great refreshing one and it is i want to say the formulation is clear the green stuff is just like on the background of the bottle so don't fret and <laughs> it has an array of really really great ingredients that i know you guys really like like nice cinnamon center green tea panthenol and it also has tartaric acid which is an exfoliating ingredient it's an aha so you can get a bit of exfoliation in and we know aha is also great for hyperpigmentation it can also provoke collagen synthesis so i I really really do enjoy this and it just I feel like the experience of this is just really really refreshing for the summer to use and I do not reach out for this <laughs> during the winter <laughs> that's for sure I like to use a straight in uh, yes I think this 
the purifying shot is the only one that I will actually use a condom pad to wipe my skin with. The rest I just go straight in because I think that with products that have a bit of gloopiness, I just like to use them as a serum, I guess. Like I just want them to hydrate my skin. So there we go. This is an awesome, awesome product as well. Alright, moving on to a product that I would say has a bit of 50% of viscosity and we're talking about the Tony Molly Wonder Mochi What? What do you call it? Oh, sorry, Ceramide Mochi <laughs> Let me do that again The Tony Molly Ceramide Mochi Toner This is already so popular not, not only within Korea but I know internationally you guys all love this As a matter of fact, and this was actually recommended by one of you guys So thank you uh, That was a very long time ago oh, Reminisce Reminisce. Uh, straight off the bat, you guys can notice that the formulation looks a little different. It's a milky one. I wouldn't say this is like a formula like the Laneige Cream Skin, which I love. The Laneige Cream Skin straight off feels like a uh, cream that's been grinded into a liquid. It feels very rich and nourishing. This one feels a bit more less expensive than that. I will say it feels less elegant, but um, it's more like a milky gloopy formulation and you can definitely feel that snot gloopiness like Oh, FYI guys, just because I say it's like snot like, it's not like snail products You know how with products with snail secret filtrate, whatever the name is It's like really, it stretches out, it, get, it gets a little cray cray It's not to that extent Definitely this is something I will reach out for during the winter times and it also has a lot of ceramide as a matter of fact This has 5,000 BBP of ceramide in it and it also has glycerin macadamia seed oil Which I love macadamia seed oil I think is an ingredient that works really really great for my skin especially during the winter times and it also has uh, Hyaluronic acid it is slightly scented it doesn't have fragrance per se. It has like lemon seed oil and also like rosewood oil So you do get a whiff of that lemon, but it does disappear uh, It's barely noticeable actually, but this is a great one if you really want to focus on moisturizing your skin Skin and it will do it in a really light refreshing way and so this is also another great toner to check out and along with this so Tony Molly decided to step in and come up with a vegan version I thought this was like a complete renewal but it's not they they sell both of them and it's more environmentally friendly because you guys can see it has no labels on it it just has these engravings on it so it kind of looks bumpy but it says vegan label ceramide mochi calming toner once again this this is a clear transparent formula formulation but this is way more viscous I think out of all of the products I'm showing today this is the most viscous so uh, I once had a, one of you guys ask me like hey Sue can you recommend me something that I can use as a serum this is it guys if you want a real I mean actually though this isn't too bad either yeah this one and the last one as well but this is definitely one of those where I will double up as a serum and I will just use this layer it in tap it in absorb it in and i'm good to go with the moisturizing hydration department it tells straight off the bat it has almost that syrupy texture it's very it does look very rich a lot more dense right and it does kind of finish down to a more watery type but it's definitely still very concentrated and so i definitely recommend this if you have more of a dry skin type dehydrated skin type i definitely like using this during the winter times i do not reach out for this in the summer no no way Jose but this is a definitely a great option to check out especially if you're really into vegan because vegans popping right now everyone's into vegan all right last but not least I have the lung bell supernatural moist luck toner I thought it was lock-in toner never mind oops sis I will say I even though I am going in the order of like how viscous they are I will say this is the more viscous but I just want to mention this with this because you know they're linked this like the mochi toner it has a milky formulation but I will say this feels a tad bit more concentrated than the Tony Moly one this feels yes once again you can definitely use this as a serum and I think Think, even though I love the Tony Moly, I love them both vegan. Yes, this has the upper hand in terms of the ingredients because this has a hundred thousand BBP of ceramide, whereas the Moji toner only has five thousand. So this has 20 times more of ceramide. So this is really, really going to help not only fortify your um. I'm sorry, I keep hearing things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
sorry. I'm sorry if I'm freaking you guys out. I'm freaking myself out too. This will do, like I said, a better job in protecting your skin barrier, fortifying it, and really moisturizing it because it has that many more times. And this also has hyaluronic acid as well. And it also has from it filtrates urea, burling glycol, yes. And so I feel like in terms of ingredients, this is way compact and more rich. And you can definitely feel that in the end result, the formulation. So this is definitely one that I love using once again for the winter times. <laughs> I think the ones that I like using for the summer are the first couple of ones that I mentioned. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I feel like toners and essences, they're not a necessity in your skincare routine, obviously, but I just love using them. They are my guilty pleasure. Um, if I had to pick one, I would definitely pick... Oh, this one's hard. Why, why did I do that to myself? Why did I just ask the question? I would definitely recommend the purifying shot and the lung bell one. But if you guys have any other great recommendations make sure to let us know in the comments down below because sharing is caring and we all love each other because this is a nice community yes all right guys i'll see you guys in my next video ciao